Where are Clombos in Fortnite? This is literally the question everybody's asking now. Despite the war going on between the Imagined Order and the Seven, with the map being split up into red and blue areas representing each faction, even though we didn't see a live event to end off last season, meaning, yeah, what's been brewing with the storyline is going to be creating an even bigger one this season, with these giant, friendly, beautiful, and elegant creatures being removed, despite Epic Games saying if anybody harms them, they'll have to wipe out the entirety of Tilted when they were first implemented in the Tilted Towers updates. We're not still exactly clear on the location of these guys until today's video where we're going to be myth busting and putting to bed all the possible outcomes for where Clombos have been relocated, actual footage of what they'll look like on the Battle Royale Island for Chapter 3 Season 2 and when they'll be making a return for the public or everybody to actually see again. If that sounds like something you want to know about then do yourself the favour today, sit back, relax, grab your favourite snacks, stick around and watch the full video, but speaking of favours, one you can do me considering it's 100% free to do, right now is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop, entering this code not only puts a giant smile on my face but also cheers up my pug Gus, as he's been kinda sad about the fact he knows 70% of you watching right now are not subscribed. So if you hit the big red button right now, we're incredibly close as you can see to 2.4 million, so you, yes the individual, may be the 2.4 millionth subscriber. After all, this only benefits you too considering I get different subscribers every single day who are simply, yes, subscribed to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment their Epic Games ID down below and potentially what they'd like to receive, so yeah, that could be you gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the very next video on the channel. But with that said, now enough messing around, we need to determine if Clombo have gone extinct or not, and if they'll be returning or when, so make sure, of course, you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Go anywhere. Okay, so in terms of going over where Clombos are located now, firstly, we need to understand where they were. As you can see on screen right now, here are all the possible locations where they're permanently spawning in every game or just random spawn locations for Clombos in Chapter 3 Season 1. And with all these spawn locations now being wiped off the island in Chapter 3 Season 2, considering, yeah, there's literally none on the island, you will notice around some of the areas of the island in itself where Clombos could spawn a large cluster or spawn location area. It seems from the Imagined Order arriving with not only the huge drill drilling out of the ground anyways, which was shown literally in the Chapter 3 Season 2 trailer, but everything else the war going on also shown in this trailer has created some destruction already around the island itself, and this just so happens to be more specifically, well, where a lot of Clombo spawn locations were. Because of this, the first theory that's been going around to do with Clombos, their whereabouts or if they exist anymore is, well, they don't, considering the Imagined Order will stop at nothing in their way of controlling the island or gaining access to the zero point which ultimately determines everything. And considering most of the spawn locations for the Clombos resided inside where the Imagined Order currently control, as you can see the red line anyways, obviously resembling them being bad or enemies, is yeah, taking up most of the island and the seven currently in the first stage of this war are only on the outskirts of it in particular locations. Speaking of this Imagined Order drill too, but not literally shown in the trailer as you can see from this loading screen that we obtained throughout levelling up in the battle pass and spending our battle stars, there's a few things very interesting about this. Not only is there underneath the surface near the drill itself anyways, old vehicles such as not only the mechs but all terrain cars and also even all the wildlife such as the raptors that we saw introduced for the first time in chapter 2 season 6, but even more specifically as you can see what would also be ginormous, well a set of supposedly clombo bones or a skeleton. From comparing the structure of this to the devourer's bones or remains that we can currently see just above surface of the chapter 3 island and with us knowing that this skull looks like this completely uncovered from chapter 1 season X after it got skewered through the head with the sword by the mecha team leader during the final showdown event, yeah, these things are not the same. With Epic Games single-handedly putting this set of bones or skeleton in the ground in this loading screen, it single-handedly raises the question, what has happened to all of the Clombos, or are all of the Clombos extinct, or is this simply just a deceased war? Either way, with Epic Games putting this easter egg here in itself alongside, well, as you can see, the baller vehicle right here, which we know to be returning, and not only just that, but in a very buffed form from what we've initially ever seen it since it got first added in Chapter 1 Season 8, it's safe to say they could also be implying as this vehicle is returning that Clombos will indeed be returning after the war is over. Referring back again to what Epic Games said about them having to wipe out the entirety of Tilted if anybody harmed these, it wouldn't make sense for them to integrate this into the storyline for the Imagined Order being that evil that they would eliminate completely these very beloved and harmless creatures, or at the very least not every single one of them on the Fortnite Island and perhaps even spared one or two. Maybe with the disappearance of Clombos, this was Epic Games foreshadowing Tilted Towers wouldn't be staying here for long, and for that reason, as the storyline progresses in waves and the seven take back more so of the island when they get around to Tilted Towers, they perhaps, yeah, crash a blimp into it, as seen in the concept right here that a user on Twitter called Kumar made. And speaking of this particular user, what I find interesting about what he does is for those that don't know, since the implementation of Covert Cavern last season, which is now Command Cavern, or has been kind of just, yeah, tweaked slightly to make this name location change its name, with not only 
with the IO blimps and this big IO base outside leading up to it with also a mythic boss literally yeah this master key character I believe one of his selectable styles on here with this being a major change outside I think we can all agree from visiting here that one of the major changes that everybody's talking about is not what's on the outside but rather so the inside being well these two adjacent vault doors obviously being within this name location itself despite these looking very big to the average person when yeah landing in game there's a lot of things to do with these that are very interesting in game right now not only if we throw Tronker's tires on one of the sides can we get up and nobody can get to us if we destroy the tires due to well no build being a factor but if we listen closely it seems like something is inside one of the vaults or both of them from yes yeah, standing near them and despite the sounds you're going to be hearing in a second seeming like a monster it doesn't match up to the catus groans or distant roars that we found in the files from the catus name location or devoured and with us knowing the only other creature that's big enough to make these types of roars could be a clombo are clombos inside at either side perhaps they've saved the final to the imagined order to perhaps be released once the war is over and then even breed and repopulate around the fortnite island but i'll let you guys listen to that sound right now so what do you think Despite it being up for speculation as to what these roars are right now, they kind of remind me or give me vibes back to when the Polar Peak monster was initially being teased inside the iceberg and we could hear the cries and then eventually see the eye popping out of it. And despite it being big enough to obviously contain a Clombo, what if I told you that you don't even comprehend how big this vault system actually is? As Kumar over on Twitter, once again, this user tweeted out here are the exact size slash direction slash location of the currently closed vault doors inside Command Cavern. They are also both very close to tank spawn locations and as you can see it's no secret that these things aren't small from them being highlighted as data miners have been able to dig into the game's code in itself or even find out how long they're going for or are meant to as if we currently go in game right now speaking of them meant to be in this big we can't see much and for this reason it looks like epic games perhaps don't want to reveal what's upcoming with these vaults keep them a secret and perhaps even get the community speculating about what's going to be popping out of these once the vault doors are open Again, it may be similar to the build up we saw of the final showdown with the Polar Peak monster not revealing itself until the event started, but leaving trail of it escaping off the island and revisiting it again. With there being only four downtime updates this season, of course, this could mean any one of them actually reveal this door slightly, if not fully, being open, and then us either being able to tell from a footprint of a clombo being left behind or seeing one that one was inside. Or on the other hand, too, they could literally keep these vault doors closed this entire chapter of Chapter 3, kind of like they did with chapter 2's vault door right here at the bunker or redacted area which then turned out to be nothing other than a simple mediocre IO base or headquarters location and if clombos are meant to reside behind here trapped either in both vaults or just one what are the imagined order trying to accomplish well there's two possibilities one they're trying to keep two of these creatures out of the way of chaos whilst war reigns over the fortnite island itself so that then once it's over they can reign free and perhaps even repopulate making baby clombos which we know could look like this in size format as data miners have literally been able to do in around 10 minutes from pulling them onto private servers as obviously right now clombos aren't in game so this literally isn't for everybody to see publicly and speaking of seeing clombos right now on the map not publicly here's how they hold up against the anti-tank missiles or the anvil launches as you can see they get very annoyed but it's not enough to wipe them out as you guys know clombos previously couldn't be eliminated but we did know their damage threshold or what type of damage needed to be dealt thanks to data miners putting them onto private servers in order to actually eliminate eliminate them as a creature if this was to be the case but there's no animation for it in the files hence why it simply just disappears and possibility too of why the imagined order may have captured two clombos they may be trying to use these in the war or kind of mind control them like they did with agent jones during the end event cinematic which as you can see could look like this but instead of the seven obviously armoring a clombo up and having it on their side as you can see in the background concept trailer this yes could belong to dr sloan and the imagined order themselves supposedly too there's quests in the files according to people on social media that they they've simply been moved during the war and will be re-added when the war is over but I guess we'll have to wait and see in future updates to come but with that said make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future videos on when those updates come themselves and drop a like in today's video if you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to it but speaking of other videos or your next destination now make sure to interact with anything on screen but most importantly hopefully I can catch you yes you the individual still watching I can see you but hopefully in the very next video I do post on the channel